Hey guys, it's Miss Gaming Gal. I'm recording this video today to talk a little bit about the LCS. I consider myself to be a fairly new person to the gaming world and LCS is like this whole little niche world inside of League of Legends. And I thought someone else might have some questions like me, might be new to it and wonder what it's all about. So LCS stands for League Championship Series, and people tend to use it as a general term for any League of Legends professional play, but that's actually not entirely accurate. LCS covers the North America and Europe regional competitions, which are ran by Riot Games currently, and we are in Season 4 of the LCS but those are not actually the only ones that exist. We have LPL for China and GPL for Southeast Asia, and those are completely legitimate seasons, and they'll go on to compete at Worlds, because Riot considers there to be five major regions which fuel professional play, and those are, once again, North America, Europe, China, Southeast Asia, and then also I didn't mention Korea. So all of those make a professional play, but we're going to focus on the rules of the LCS. Those other leagues do have slightly different rules. We're not going to go into that today. So an LCS season is going to last a long time. This isn't done in, you know, a week. It's pretty much the majority of the year is when LCS play happens, but there is two different seasons. A season will consist of two weather seasons. That sounds really dumb, but I don't know how else to say it. You know, right now we're in a spring summer season and this is how the season is split up. We start out with promotionals. Promotionals is deciding just like you might think, who's going to get into the LCS, who's going to play, and this happens in between the two different seasons. So within the same season, you'll have the promos for spring, and then after that, you'll have the promos for summer. And the way promos work is whoever was the lowest in LCS in regards to scores and matches from last year will go to the top teams from the Challenger series. Now, Challenger is the top in the ranked League of Legends play. You know, you've got your bronze, your silver players, and you work your way up through all the different ranks, and Challenger is the top. Challenger is your bridge into professional play. And if a Challenger player beats one of those low-level LCS, they make their way into the LCS. That's your big break. That's your chance. And we end up with eight teams that are going to be in our season. And then we enter a time period that's called a split. Now a split is 10, 11 weeks, something like that. And it's where all these eight teams go against each other and basically compete until we get to the playoffs. And we're gonna have six teams go to the playoffs. And those are all going to compete for the top four slots because only four out of the eight teams in the end are eligible for the prizes, which is financial compensation. And when we get into this playoffs type season, kind of what happens is the first and second team get a bye, which I believe is a sports term and basically means that you don't have to compete because you're already solid, you're already there. So it's the third through six that compete there, and then we've got the four that go on and go into the finals. So we've got the finals, and the finals are to decide who's gonna move out of the regional competition, because this is only part of what the LCS is. You know, right now we've only got American teams going against each other, and European teams going against each other. But after the finals, we bring all the different teams together from the LCS, the LPL, etc., to compete in this big, exciting Worlds competition. So that's what the finals are all about. So it's about 28 games in total is a number I saw. And you know, these things are gonna vary from season to season. 
We've also got the All-Stars, which is another special thing made of the top players. You know, there are really LCS professional league stuff going on all year long. It's very different from, you know, kind of a typical sports where they have a main big season where they're playing, you know, like football or baseball. It's really going on year round and that's because, you know, it is outside and it's not a normal sport. So you don't have to wait for that. And so why should you care about the LCS? Well, you know, what I think is really cool is it is sports for people who don't watch sports. You've got the announcers who keep things exciting and there's all this like cheering because this actually happens in front of a live audience, not all the time, but North American games happen in California and you can actually purchase tickets if you're able to get yourself there. And European games happen in Cologne, Germany, and you can also, once again, purchase tickets and be there. And, you know, people hold up posters. They wear hats. You know, they're going crazy. They're excited. They see their favorite champion. They are into it. And that's just cool to be a part of, even if we can't actually be there. You know, you can share that with your friends the same way people watch a football game. You put it on a big screen. And, you know, you get excited. You know how to do these things yourselves. And that's what makes it cool in a different way from sports. Because most people aren't professional sports players. And, you know, we're not professional league players necessarily. I'm not, obviously. But you still know what it feels like to get that kill. What it feels like to pull off that move. To see somebody get a pentakill. To steal Baron at the last second. You know, it's an excitement you can really be a part of. And... I got into LCS through a fantasy team. I was convinced to join it and I've really seen very little LCS before that. But I decided, you know, now's the time. I'm really gonna learn about this because I wanna win. You know, I wanna have fun and that's what drawed me in. And that's just a part of the community that you really can have is these fantasy teams and, you know, gotta check my scores, gotta see how my players did. And you get to know these players as people and I would definitely maybe be interested in doing some videos kind of talking about the teams and who should you know, who should you look out for, who are the main teams within each region. So there's really a lot of room for expansion here, but this is just about the general what is LCS and why should I care. So that's kind of what we've covered. And if you want to watch LCS, they get posted on YouTube pretty quickly after they happen. But you can also watch them live on Twitch, which YouTube is buying, possibly, if you haven't heard. And there's a chat room there, so you know you can see people going crazy in the chat and kind of be a part of all of that. So that's really cool. And LCS games are primarily Thursday through Sunday, but that can change just like any other sport you know sometimes stuff is different but I definitely recommend if you haven't seen an LCS game to check it out and I might if I do some of this team coverage pick out some highlights of the LCS so you can kind of see what it's like see the crowd and see why it's so cool and my final note would just to be to remember that if you want to get better at League of Legends this is a good way to do it because these people are professionals who are dedicating their lives at least for a couple of years if not longer to really perfecting this craft of a game and you can see the best of the best playing and it's gonna seek into your own play if you want it to. The announcers will explain plays a lot, they'll explain the thoughts behind why a player did something and what their plan was even if it did or didn't work out. So, you know, I think there's a chance for improvement there. So I hope this video taught you something, or if you're already an LCS expert, you know, maybe reminded you of a couple things, and we'll see if I decide to make another video in the future. Thanks!